Bard. I'm filming a thank you video in regards to a donor who sent something in to my classroom pen project. So this um, project kind of started accidentally. I use fountain pens within the classroom and students started asking questions about it. And then I, you know, started, you know, giving out some fountain pens to students like say, hey, here, give this a try. Or you, you, have you used a fountain pen before? Would you like to? And they tried it out and they enjoyed it. And I started, you know, giving them to the students. I posted about this on Reddit. And a lot of people started responding back with how much they loved the idea of getting fountain pens into students' hands. So people had contacted me from all throughout, you know, the United States, where I live, and started sending me pens. And these were people who were just pen enthusiasts. And I was able to set up a area in my classroom, which you probably saw in my previous video, where students can come up and borrow, try out a pen, and they could borrow keep or there's area with you know kind of a little bit higher class pens for them to just borrow at the moment until i could rotate more into to the um you know the classroom setting for them to keep anyhow so people were sending me stuff and it's been fantastic and i've been trying to you know thank everybody on um reddit and it's become uh, very difficult like uh, there's so many conversations taking place with people who um, are at least asking questions about what I'm doing or wanting to send stuff in my direction and whatnot and last time I made the video was to kind of thank all those people in general because there's just there's so much and I wanted to make sure everybody let, knows that I appreciate them and then I was contacted by a UK based business a uh, business called loft pens and I wrote down all their Instagram, eBay, Facebook, and their website. They um, didn't send me anything in regards to me putting them out there and promoting their business. They were just contacted me. We talked to each other. They um, sent. They were sending me some stuff from UK. Uh, but they had sent me so much stuff. The package came in today. I just wanted to really thank them and at least let people know about their business and what the business did to help. Um, I decided this setting for the video, because as you can see, I watercolor and I paint. And one of the things that I do to um, you know, help out the community and get my name out there is donate paintings to various um, charitable causes. For example, um, the local theater guild was doing their fundraiser and I gave them a painting to raffle off. As a school teacher, I don't have a lot of money to donate, but there's other things that I can go about doing in order to um, help out the community. And that's the way I view uh, Loft Pens and what they did. And the crazy thing is, they were helping somebody out in another country. So this business was donating stuff and helping somebody in another country, which was just fantastic. I wanna go through the box and show you guys just how much they donated to us. So, once again, you know, first thing they had sent was a whole bunch of Jin Hao cartridges, which was great. We had talked online, and this seemed like the most efficient way to send uh, the inks to me. And with cartridges, that kind of varies up the scheme. I have some bottles in the classroom, which uh, we're going through pretty quick. Um, I've used about half a bottle of the Parker Quink so far, which just surprised me. But then again, we're doing the initial filling and giving student, uh, inks out to students. But this is a great way, obviously, to you know pop and go for students. And I'll have some, um, the what are they called, the blunt syringes in order to refill these if need be, if this is the path the students wind up going and wanting to keep cartridges as opposed to converters. Next, and we'll kind of pile all this stuff here. We have a set of four beautiful gin house. And you can see that this guy takes pride in his business and has these individually labeled and whatnot. Um, I was looking at his eBay page and 
he has a lot of sellers and I think it's a 99% like rating or heart rating. So that's a, a great seller on eBay. So if you're in that area and you order on UK eBay, he's definitely a viable option, a great option. Here, and I believe everything is gonna be Jin Hao, but these pens are gorgeous. Students are going to love this rose gold gold combination. And some of these Jin Hao's, as you guys know, have a little bit more heft to them. And that's something that some students were talking about, especially in regards to the larger Jin Hao's. I think these are the 750, X750. I'd given some out to kids and they loved them. These ones, I had gotten some like this from a gentleman, I believe. These are probably the nibs that are hooded. Let's check it out and see. Nope, they're not hooded. Okay, so this is a first of this type for the students as well. They're gonna love that. Very you know, classy. Um, what is it, the Parker that has the arrow clip? So this is somehow utilizing some Parker forms. Okay, let's see what else. These, I believe, are the Lamy clones that are produced in China. Yep, Jin Hao Lamy clones. We got some more of the heavier Jin Hao's. And these do look familiar. I believe a gentleman had sent me some of these for the students. So we have some demonstrators and some more classy solid body ones. And look how big this pile is getting. Oh, oh, man. Tell me, which teenage boy or teenage girl do you know that is not going to fall in love and want this pen? Look at that. This one I'll probably have to set on the side and um, give out as a... Yeah, you know, like if a student is being fantastic, just displaying, just um, you know, just great, great qualities, helping each other out and whatnot. This is when a, beautiful pens like that are going to be given out to the students. I don't know if I mentioned I teach at a school that's uh, considered an inner, inner city school, and um, we have. You know, a lot of kids coming from a poverty background, unfortunately. And some of these kids just really don't have anything or never given anything. So, I mean, even a pen, you know, like the, the Lamy clones, those are like a dollar, two dollars. These guys are about four or five dollars. I, I don't know his prices on a DB shop, eBay shop. But I'm just saying, like, pens like this, giving something out like that to a student just really changes um, their worldview. And they're just so appreciative. Look at that beautiful one. Oh, man. The kids are going to love that. It has the Japanese cherry blossoms on it. And, um, you know, as a lot of people were commenting, they were talking about how, you know, it's kind of helping keep this art of fountain pens going. And, um, you know, that was one of the reasons a lot of people wanted to donate. Let's see. So we have some more. So we have some more of that um, textured barrel material. And then those two. Wow. So there's some really gorgeous, unique ones on here that they're going to go crazy for. I have students who, when they walk in, I have one student, second period, who's one of the first kids I gave pens to, who makes a kind of a beeline 
to my refilling station to see what new pens came in. And he's even, you know, he's repeatedly told me how appreciative he was that, um, that people were sending these things because you know, I was telling him what was taking place. So these are all from Loft Pens, once again. Um, and like I said, I really wanted to shoot out a thank you and do a video that would kind of bring their name forth just in case you haven't heard about this company because this guy definitely went out of his way to help me out. And if you look and see, I don't have a lot of YouTube uh, subscribers. You can see the quality of these videos. I mean, I'm not trying to uh, be self-deprecating, but you know, I'm just set up in a room with my phone on a tripod. You saw the beginning of this um, filming, live streaming to Twitch and having to download it and upload it over to YouTube. I'm not getting a massive review um, and cult following on YouTube. But, so, so I, I really don't think he was doing this for the exposure, but I want to give him what exposure I can, because I truly think that this gentleman did all this for the kids. And at the end of the day, it's about bettering society. It's about encouraging kids, introducing them to new things, helping them with their handwriting, I mean, I know my handwriting isn't the best. That's kind of a, a given for every YouTube video and picture. We have to say how our handwriting isn't the best. Um, <laughs> but I've had kids say how it helps the handwriting. Um, they've pulled out the same pens and they've taken beautiful notes. They have um, swapped pens. They've tried out different inks. They have become curious about the maintenance. That one kid that I mentioned earlier. Um, at the beginning of class, if I'm distracted or working on something, he is my go-to to ask to show another student how to refill from a um, fountain pen um, bottle. So once again, I believe that's everything and that is a lot. So this is going to help with my classroom project leading into the following year. Everybody else that has sent stuff, I want to thank you. and. Um, I know some people have some more stuff in the mail, so I'll be contacting you guys personally or hopefully making a new video. Once again, just like the ending of the last video, I would like to get you all to think, and here I am just like packing up while I'm talking and filming, I would like you guys to think, how can we help other teachers and other classrooms? Um, if you have a teacher in your life or if you are a teacher, and you are interested in getting fountain pens into your classroom and introducing them, let's get a conversation going. Let's get this classroom pen project to take place in all classrooms throughout the United States. Let's try to get it going in Europe. I'm really not sure the fountain pen culture over there, South America, wherever. Let's um, come together, come up with ideas, see what the best um, fiscally responsible way of doing this is, what, um, methods work best for different age groups, whether it's the Jin Hao Swan pens or whether it's the Lamy clones and refilling from a bottle. Uh, let's get that conversation going. And by next summer, by June, July, August, let's, um, let's start getting teachers to post about having their classroom adopted and um, having people send classroom sets and getting fountain pens out to those students. Anyway, Thanks again to all you Redditors that have, and YouTubers that have watched, liked, commented, sent stuff in, or just, you know, said thank you. Thank you to Loft Pens that sent that um, massive cachet of, or cache of pens to us uh, for the students. And um, just, you know, thank you all. Have a great day.